Well, look at uh, Romans chapter 3. Romans chapter 3 in the New Testament, What advantage then hath the Jew, or what profit is there of circumcision? Much of the way, chiefly because that unto them, that is unto the Jews, were committed the oracles of God. For what, if some did not believe, shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid. Yea, let God be true, but every man a liar. As it is written that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. But if our unrighteousness commend the righteousness of God, what shall we say? Is God unrighteous who taketh vengeance? I speak as a man. God forbid, for then how shall God judge the world? For if the truth of God hath more abounded through my lie unto his glory, uh, why yet am I also judged as a sinner? And not rather as we be slanderously reported, and as some uh, affirm that we say, let us do evil that good may come, whose damnation is just. What then? Are we better than they? No, in no wise or in no way, for we have believed, uh, sorry, before proved both Jews and Gentiles that they are all under sin. You see that in another verse. For there is no difference, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It doesn't matter what country we come from, what language we speak, what colour our skin is, what nationality we are. When we're born into this world, we are born as sinners. And because of that, we're heading down to hell. Now, God does not want you to go down to hell, and that's why he sent the Lord Jesus Christ to die upon the cross, be crucified for you and for me. Christ died for our sins, according to the Scriptures, and he was buried. And he rose again the third day, according to the Scriptures. Yes, as it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. Now, we might think we're fairly good-living people, well, we might be compared to someone else, that is true. But when we, measure, when we measure ourselves with God's rule, with God's standard, oh, how far short we fall, every one of us, each and every one of us. We've fallen short of the glory of God. We haven't measured up to God's divine, perfect standard. The only one who has measured up to that is the Lord Jesus Christ, the Saviour of sinners, the one who came down from heaven to die upon the cross for you and for me. Yes, as it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. In fact, all our righteousnesses, it says in the Old Testament, are as filthy rags. God is not interested in your works. You can never ever get to heaven by doing good works. Be assured of that. You can only get to heaven is if you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the way of salvation. He is the way to heaven. There's no other way to heaven apart from Jesus Christ. That's why the Bible says, He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son of God hath not life. The question is, do you have the Son of God? Have you put your faith in Him? Have you received him as your saviour? He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. I'll repeat that verse again. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. He said, we might think we're good living people, and maybe compared to other people we are. But none of us can measure up to the righteous standard of God. Only the Lord Jesus Christ has done that. Why? Because he's God. God manifest in the flesh. God in a body. God came down, was clothed with humanity, took upon himself a body. This reminds me of the scripture that says, But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, 
crowned with glory and honour, that he by the grace of God should taste death for every man. And so the Lord Jesus Christ tasted death for us all. He died on the cross so that you and I could be saved, so that you and I could be in heaven. Way to heaven? You and I need to be in heaven. The only way we can be in heaven is if we put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. If we don't, we'll end up dying and going down to hell. God does not want you to go down to hell, my friend. That's why he sent the Lord Jesus Christ as the sacrifice, the one that laid down his life for you and for me. He said, no man taketh my life from me, I lay it down on myself. I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it up again. This commandment have I received of my Father. So, if you want to be in heaven, you have to come the way God has made. God has made it possible that you and I can be saved. You and I can be in heaven. You and I can be at peace with God, have forgiveness for our sins, and a home in heaven for all eternity. There's no need to go down to hell, my friend. You can be in heaven by putting your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. There is none that understand it. There is none that seeketh after God. They are all gone out of the way. They are together become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. Their throat is an open sepulchre. With their tongues they have used deceit. The poison of asps is under their lips. Their mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their ways. And the way of peace have they not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. I wonder does that describe you? Does that describe me? When I wasn't saved, when I wasn't a child of God, before I was born again, before I put my faith in Christ and became a child of God. Now we know that what things soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped and all the world may become guilty before God. Is that the word heaven? Have a great day. God bless you. Yes, we are guilty before God. The whole world is guilty of sin before the Lord. This is why we need forgiveness for those sins. But the only way is through the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ which he shed for us on the cross when he was crucified. One of the soldiers came and uh, when they saw that he was dead already, one of the soldiers came and thrust in a spear into his side and forthwith there came out blood and water. That blood still has the power to wash your sins away, my friend. That's exactly what God wants to do for you. He wants to wash all of your sins away so that you can be forgiven of all of your sins and so that you can enter into heaven. We cannot enter into heaven because of our sins. Our sins have shut us out of heaven. But God wants you to be there. The only way we can get there is if we put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Repentance toward God, that is, a change of mind, simply agree with God that you are a sinner and put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. Yes, the whole world is guilty before God. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight, that is, in God's sight. In other words, by doing good things, by keeping even the commandments of the law, cannot get us into heaven. The Lord Jesus Christ had to sacrifice himself upon the cross. He had to die in agonies and blood for you and for me, because he loved us so very, very much. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him, that is on Jesus Christ, is not condemned. But he that believeth not 
is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. I wonder have you believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. You need to do that to be in heaven. Can't be in heaven in and of ourselves. Good works never saved anybody. Good works will never ever save anybody. It's faith in Christ and Christ alone that will do the job. This is why we need to put our faith in Him, the Saviour, the only one that took the penalty for our sins when he was hanging upon the cross, when he was being crucified, when he shed his precious blood for you and for me. The price has been paid for our redemption. I mean, to redeem something means you buy it back by paying a price. The price has been paid, the precious blood of Jesus Christ, as a lamb without blemish and without spot. He's able to save your soul here, my friend. And if you put your faith in him, your soul will be saved. What are you waiting for? Time is running out. We need to understand. When we're born in this world, we're born as sinners. We're heading down to hell. God does not want you to go down to hell. He wants to save your soul right now. As you listen to this message, you need to get right with God. And this afternoon, your soul can be saved if you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, therefore by the deeds of the law there shall no flesh be justified in his sight, in God's sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. You see, the law was given so that we would see where we'd gone wrong, that we would see that we were sinners. It's proof that we are sinners. And there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Because of that, we're heading for the judgment of God. But God wants to save your soul before you go into that judgment. We're heading down to hell, my friend. This, you're in a dangerous situation without Christ. You're heading for the judgment of God. God wants you to be in heaven. The only way you can be in heaven is if you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. When he loved us unto death, even the death of the cross. Yes, but now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets, even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe. You see, salvation is possible for you. But you've got to believe. You've got to put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Yes, but now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets, even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That's the problem. We're guilty of sin. But God is able to forgive you of all of your sins, no matter what you've done. As I often say, even if you killed someone, most people would say that was the worst sin you could commit. But in reality, the worst sin you could commit is not believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. That is the worst sin you could ever commit. And there's no forgiveness for that. If you die in that condition without believing on the Lord Jesus Christ, you'll be in hell. God does not want you to go down to hell. He wants you to be in heaven. And that's why he sent the Lord Jesus Christ to come to our rescue, to die on the cross for you and for me, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God has set forth to be a propitiation, or a full payment, basically, through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God. To declare, I say at this time, his righteousness, that is God's righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. 
And what does Jesus mean? It means Jehovah, the Saviour, or the salvation of Jehovah. The Lord has provided the way of escape. He's provided salvation that you and I could not provide for ourselves. Where is boasting then? It is excluded by what law? Of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also. Seeing it is one God which shall justify the circumcision by faith, that's the Jews, by faith, and uncircumcision, that's the Gentiles, through faith, do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid, yea, we establish the law. Yes, the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. And if you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, you'll be saved by the grace of God through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. The one who shed his precious blood, in whom we have redemption, through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. When have your sins been forgiven? They can only be forgiven if they're washed away in the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ who loved us enough to die upon the cross. God does not want you to go down to hell, but that's where we're headed by default. He wants to rescue you and give you a home in heaven with himself for all of eternity. But that can only take place if you come in repentance toward God, as I've said, that's a change of mind. Agree with God that you're a sinner and then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. Heaven or hell, what will it be for you? So we'll determined by what you do with our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I appreciate that. If you are interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you. Have a great day.